how to reprogram your mind, your subconscious mind, and most importantly, for confidence. This video is about confidence, confidence alone. Welcome back to another video. I am Maximilian. I help contrapreneurs reprogram their mind, empower their lives for love, confidence, happiness, fulfillment, you name it, I do it, and success. So what is confidence? If I ask you that question right now, what is confidence? Because I guarantee you, I'm very, very sure of this question. If I asked you, is that person confident? Is that person not confident? You'd be able to give me a definite answer. So you know the difference between confidence and unconfidence or shyness. You know that difference. And you know you know that difference. So what is the difference between those two people? What do you see in a confident person? What do you see in a shy person? Posture. It's one of the greatest tips. Posture. If I'm sitting like this, don't look confident. If I'm sitting like this, shoulders back, head up, smile on my face, I seem more confident. Confidence doesn't have to be that loud shouting person. Confidence is just talking like you know what you're talking about. You can lie about confidence. You can fake it very easily. A lot of the time I used to do that. I used to pretend I was confident. I was like, what would a confident person do in this situation? It's something I recommend that you, you go away and do. How would a confident person stand? Okay, I'm off camera. But would a confident person stand like this? No. They would stand with their shoulders back, chest out. Chest out, look cool. A person with extreme confidence knows what they're talking about. They articulate it in the right way. They don't have to be all loud and shouty at all. You don't have to be that. And if you're an introvert, you can still be confident. I'm an introvert and I'm still confident. That doesn't mean that everything that I do, I'm going to be the best at. That doesn't mean I would go out clubbing and, and, and be the most confident person there because quite frankly, it's just not an environment I thrive in. It's just not. There's environments that I thrive in and there's environments that you thrive in. And when you have that self-awareness to understand where you best thrive, watch yourself put your foot down and feel your ability to drive, feel alive. <laughs> You've got that power within you. Confidence comes from within you. Start with the little things. Model what works. You know that person that's confident. You know what they look like. Who's someone that's, that inspires you about confidence? For me, it was Tony Robbins. I love Tony Robbins. I love everything that he's done for me. He doesn't even know what he's done for me. And I've said, one day, I'm going to be working with him. I've already sent him a message to say, I'm going to be working with you one day, Tony. And I'm going to read back on that. And I'm going to say, look, manifestation is possible when you really believe it. I know this is going to happen. When you've got that confidence within you to say stuff like that about yourself, when you've got that confidence within you to do what you need to do in order to achieve what you want to achieve, you can do that. So how do you get the confidence? Like I said, start with the small things. Don't start with when you're on camera worrying about your arms, 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 arms. That's like, that's far on. And this is something that I actually learned. They were saying, don't worry about that stuff. When you first start on camera, when you first start on stage, don't worry about the little things like your arms and us. Don't worry about that. Worry about how you're trying to come across. Are you being expressive? I've made this in another video. Are you being expressive, breaking outside your box? So this, for example, the camera. The camera box, I'm breaking outside of the box. Again, not like that, like expressions, but be more expressive. When you speak, use your facial expressions. It's very simple, it's very easy, but it's remembering to do it. Eventually, which I talk about a lot, is reprogramming the subconscious mind, just like this video. When you do it enough times, it becomes a habit. Once it becomes a habit, it becomes you. Once it becomes you, it's a personality trait, and it takes time to break away from that. If it's, comp if it's empowering for you, you won't want to break away from that. You will continue to stay with that. Why? Because it empowers you. It makes you, you feel good about yourself. It's not a negative habit. It's a powerful, empowering habit. So you have the ability to do that. And you're probably asking yourself, and Max, you probably, weren't, you probably were quite confident. Nope, I was the shyest person. So, so shy. The only thing that would give me confidence Shame to say it, cocaine and <laughs> a lot of alcohol. That's, that's literally all it was. Because I was allowed in myself to forget my old self. I forgot who I was. 
And the first part of confidence is forget your old self. Forget the shy version. Ask yourself, how would a confident version of Max reply in this situation? Or you have the alternative side. You can even use a confident version of yourself. If you don't believe that there is that confident version, because there is, there's alternate realities, quantum physics explains it, it's quantum universes. If you, if you don't believe that side of it yet, because you will, I promise you, you continue watching my videos, you're going to get that. Guarantee 100%, 1 million percent, 1 trillion percent. So keep watching these videos. Like this video, by the way, if you like it, share it, subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. Also, if you allow yourself to model someone else and say, how would, in my opinion, Tony Robbins reply to this situation? Let me go back on a little story for you. This one you're going to love. So if you're already watching this video all this way, I appreciate you and you're going to love this little story. So you've got some dirt on me. <laughs> I joined a network marketing company as what the second business I was going into. So my first business completely failed. Um, clothing company. Uh, that was my third business. Actually, network marketing was my fourth business. Went into it and was the shyest person. It did wonders for my confidence because it gave me the ability to talk to people. I had to take a meeting of 10 people. I think it was 10 people. My business partner said to me at the end of it, he was like, you, you sure you want to do it? I was like, look, I need to do it. I need to break outside my comfort zone. I just need to try it. At the end of the meeting, he said to me, I was nervous for you. He was like, you were awful. I was like, yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I, I thought so to be fair, but that wasn't him digging me. That was good because I was awful. Did I probably ruin the ability to explain the opportunity to those people? Possibly yes. Did I have the opportunity to do it again? I did. And I did it a few times. Again, I, w I never did it in, in front of a group of people that big again. But I started off with small people. I started doing it in front of two people, three people, one person. And it began to get easier and easier because it became familiar. I was used to, I was knowing what I was talking about. First of all, I had to learn the presentation. I knew that presentation without the slides. So I didn't need the slides in order to explain it. I just had to explain it. And once I explained it, everything started to make sense to me. When I was talking with competence, because I wasn't talking going, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to love this. You deserve this, 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 this. When I understood that I could just sit there and be like, so this is what the company is about. This is the, the services we provide. This is how you can get involved. This is what you can, how you can benefit. This is how people around you can benefit. Don't get me wrong, I was not good. I wasn't good, not at all. But it was a learning curve. Back then I thought I was doing, I thought I was great. I thought I was really starting to pick up. Now I look at that version of myself and I think, <laughs> wouldn't wanna be that guy, that sucks to be you. We all start somewhere, we've all got a story. And that reminds me, I'm gonna make a video about my story again, because I love explaining how change is possible. So, reprogramming the subconscious mind. Let me summarize everything. It comes down to the habits of confidence. Start to understand those habits of confidence, the external habits of confidence. I'm gonna go into the visualization process of how you can create it first in here. But I want you to understand the, the practice, just like practicing your golf swing. The more you practice, the better you get. Great example, I've got a ball in my garden and I sometimes throw it up and spin it on my finger like a basketball player. When I hadn't done that for years, it took me a few days to get back to the ability to do it again. And now I can do it, why? Just had to re-remember. Re when you stop working out, your muscles shrink. When you stop working out confidence, the muscle of confidence shrinks. Practice it, work it out, get to work. You beautiful, amazing people keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness, keep spreading so much positivity.